Hawkeye episode 5. So this episode, continuing on from last of course, spends quite a lot of time with Yelena, which was to be expected, you know, as she got the little cameo at the end, so obviously it's kind of going to be her episode in a sense, like she's going to get the most, and she did, and in this episode we learned like more about her mission and why she's actually here and why she's involved in the first place. Ultimately we learn that she's just after Clint and she blames Clint for the death of Natasha, which doesn't make much sense, she hasn't really got any a whole lot of reasoning behind it it feels like you know it just feels like she's just assuming that it was his fault because he was with her when she died so you know she, she's just pissed off it's like the cliche thing like i'm gonna kill this guy even though you know he didn't murder her but i'm just gonna go after him anyway and, you know overall yelena was fine in this in this episode she wasn't as sort of bad as i thought she was gonna be as you know i'm not a big fan of her character but i did find her a bit cringy at times, and, you know, she, she she's still the same character that we saw in the movie. So, you know, I, I don't I didn't personally like it in the movie, and it's, it's the same here. But, you know, she was fine. She was fine, okay? Honestly, when she was having this conversation with Kay, you know, like, asking her about Clint and, and whatnot, the best thing she actually said was, you know, I've come to New York, I want to see the site, such as the new and improved Statue of Liberty, which... As someone who is beyond excited for Spider-Man No Way Home, you know, you see that, that new and improved Statue of Liberty in there, so uh, that that was a cool, I was like, ooh, ooh Spider-Man reference, Spider-Man reference, but uh, no, th that is it, it's not like you're going to see Spider-Man swinging around in this episode, even though it's set in New York, but I mean, the timeline is interesting, I'm guessing this is set just before, obviously, uh, No Way Home, whether they'll end the show, and then shit starts going crazy, uh, that would be very cool, uh, I I kind of like to see that because a lot of the time these shows are sort of running coherent with each other it seems you know it's probably running alongside Loki so maybe when this show ends it's the same as when Loki ends and timelines start going crazy and that's when the beginning of like No Way Home is pretty much so yeah it's cool that everything they're doing at the moment is, is almost exactly the same time it's within like the same sort of space of a week it seems but uh, yeah you see I'm talking positively about something that's it's not it's not actually to do with the show it's just to do with when it's set anyway now clint is ultimately fed up of all this like me so he ultimately wants to to end it all you know the beef with echo and stuff and he gives her a chance but ultimately she's just a moody bitch and she's just always put in this face like, mm, i'm angry it's like bitch fucking just just chill the fuck out right your dad wasn't a good person that's why he got killed all right move the fuck on yeah, but no, she's still being all moody about this stuff, and it's just it just doesn't get resolved once again. And when Clint needs help, what what happened? What happened? What did I say would happen? Kate saves the day. You know, it's, it's always going to be a case that like Clint needs help, or Kate will need help, and the other one will save the other one. That's what happened. I mean, the MCU timing strikes again. And I guess they're friends again, but it doesn't it doesn't really get clarified. She just saves him, and he's like, oh, okay, and then and that that's it. They don't have like a little heart to heart. They just that's it, and then they're just, like, back at some dude's apartment, I don't know, that we've met earlier on in the show, and, ah, uh, it's just, I mean, Kate was okay in this episode, but I did find her a bit cringy, I'm not sure, like, the dialogue they're giving her is very predictable, I feel like, you know, you're watching it, and you, you when she says what she says, you're not, you're not surprised, you're not intrigued, you're not curious about what's going to be said next, because it's just very entirely predictable, um, she was fine in this, but... Ultimately, there was no real standout in this episode, unfortunately. And at the end of the episode, Kate gets a text. Um, I, I don't know who it's from. It says unknown number. I guess it's meant to be very obvious to us as a viewer who it's from, but I'm I'm not quite catching on with this show. I'll be honest, there's so many different ways and people involved. I'm just a bit like, who the fuck and what, what is going on? I think it was either from Yelena or Jack. Two very different people with very different motives. So the fact that I can't clarify which one the text is from is probably quite concerning, but what can I say? I'm tired, as you can probably tell. The bag's in my eyes. I'm seeing it in the camera. It looked fucking awful. But either way, she gets a text, and it's a picture of her mother with Kingpin, which which is kind of cool. But once again, I'm not surprised, because people, I don't know how, people just know what's going to happen online. They're just like, oh, yeah, Kingpin's going to be in it before he's even being seen Yelena's going to be in it before she's even been seen like everyone just knows what's going to happen it just ruins like the fun and excitement of them all like these big reveals are not big reveals they're just rumors we already heard and then when they come to you we're like oh 
That's cool that that was true. We already fucking knew, but it's cool. So yeah, Kingpin's going to be in it. I don't know if it's the Kingpin that was from um, Daredevil. I didn't watch the show, so I couldn't, I couldn't really tell if it's the same one. I have seen pictures of the Kingpin from the Daredevil show, but the picture they show in, in here is quite a pixelated picture. It's sent on like a trap phone, so I don't know how you're meant to tell, you know, who, which version of Kingpin is. I'm really struggling right now. God. Um... <clears throat> But either way, he's in it, and he's going to be in the last episode. But to be honest, I'm disappointed with what the show's done so far. We're five episodes into a six-episode six show, and nothing's wowed me. Nothing's excited me that much, and nothing has really impressed me. It's just, what, what, are they, what are they really going to do in this in this final episode that's going to be like, wow, that was really worth it, like the whole thing. It's, 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 been, uh, it's been a disappointing show, I'll be honest, and... This is probably worse than One Division at the moment. I didn't think they'd make a worse one, but it's worse in a different way, though. It's worse in the in the fact that it just seems pointless. It just doesn't seem like it's achieving anything. It doesn't seem like it's adding anything. At least with One Division, it was like at least setting up some stuff. It was, it did have cool elements in there, and whilst the show in the climax of it did fall off, it did. It did have some real good and fun and exciting moments throughout the episodes. Whereas this, no, not really. I enjoyed like episode three. Um, that was the one where I thought it would be on the up. But overall, I would give today's episode a 5.5 out of 10. Hopefully for the finale, can. it's not going to be a 10 out of 10. It's not going to do anything unbelievable, but it might just be better. It might just be a better episode. If we're lucky, we'll get like a 7, 7.5, an 8 out of 10, being optimistic. Like... But ultimately, I think the only thing we really want to see in that final episode is like something to do with No Way Home. Like New York starts like folding in on itself because the universe have collapsed. But by that time, I would have been seeing Spider Man No Way Home anyway. So you know. But yeah, my next video should be Spider Man No Way Home review. So uh, look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>